Happy Sunday, people. Hope you're all doing really great. Welcome to the latest Friendly Plumber video. Really hope you guys enjoy it. Please consider liking, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I've been getting loads of really great comments um, and I love them because I'm not perfect. I enjoy learning and anybody who tells you that they're not learning and they're not picking up new things, they're lying to themselves. In this game, you have to constantly be learning. You're constantly changing, developing. So I'm all for feedback. If you guys got feedback, give it to me. Do it in a nice way. Don't be a prick about it, but I'm all for it. So hope you guys enjoy this one. Consider liking, consider subscribing. We're so close to a thousand. That'd be a real game changer for me. Thanks you guys for all your support. I'll catch you in the next one. Right, next little job. Well, not a little job, actually a bit of a biggie. So, let me show you in here first. So, we have got this little setup. Uh, and it's working, but only once it moved. So we're gonna put a new one on. This one's been giving them some chip. Um, all the classic valent numbers. What we're gonna do is rip all this out. At the moment, it flews up into this boxing along here and then out along with a condensate pump. And the pump follows the same route as the flu. So that didn't really make any sense to me. Um, when in here, we've got this lovely little garage with a, an outside wall. So we're gonna take the shelving off, put the boiler on here, and then we're gonna take the flow returning gas over the top and round, and the boiler is just literally the other side of that wall. Um, this is a nice little one though, for the, all the meat and people out there. Didn't, didn't need to secure it, shouldn't have to. So we're actually gonna, this property uses electric everywhere else, so the only gas is going to the boiler. So we're gonna cut this old feed off, cap it, screw that back to the wall, and then run a new gas pipe, and then follow the same path. So we'll take you along with us how we do it. For the time being, the beauty of moving a boiler is that I can do 90% of the work um, and leave the old one running and doing its thing. So I can get the new one hung, flued, condensed done, um, all the flow and return ready to go, all the gas ready to go, and then just connect it in all in on one day. So yeah, Let's see how we get on. are up the back um i had a change of heart because that's a lintel and that's a lintel don't really want to start trying to fix to that because it can be a real pig so oh, it's hot what i'm thinking is what i'm going to do is where they go up there i'm going to just run across the ceiling so i'm going to space the clips out anyway um for lagging so it will skim over the top of that conduit quite nicely. So I think I'm gonna come straight across the roof and then drop down in this corner somewhere. Um, Cause then I've got gas to connect in there and then I can go through, punch through that wall and then into the old boiler cupboard. Um, and what I'm gonna do is we've got the TF1 here, which I'm gonna change for the AD mag clean or the Worcester green star filter which is the AD mag clean so I'm going to change that for that there so I don't have to do it in there um, and then all I've got to do in here is just connect onto the flows and returns the other thing I'm going to do is change this filling loop 
um, for one with a pressure gauge so that when you're topping it up, you can actually see it here rather than having to keep running backwards and forwards. So that's the plan. And then obviously I've got to pull all this boiler out, pull all the condensate pump out, pull the flue out, all that jazz. But for the meantime, I can still just crack on in here and get all these pipe runs in. So that's the aim of the game. For those of you who don't know what I mean by spacer, it's made by Talon. So the same manufacturer as the clips I use. Um, so it's just like that. So what happens is there's your clip and then that just slots in the bottom there. Like that. And it just gives you a little bit of an off stand. If you want more, you can also stack them. So if you need a little off stand off something, go over something or whatever else, you can do that. And then the screw just runs straight through the bin. Really good hand of you. time so that's all piped up runs over the top around the corner and then down we've fixed that gas meter to the wall now because it was wobbling all over the place before um, and then what we've done is we've just taken them through the wall there like that and then we have taking the old boiler out I've still got the flue and stuff to take out um, that's obviously where the green star filter is going to go and then I've just put a lever valve on there because I just don't want it to flood overnight I'd rather I know it was off so but these are flow returns coming through here ready to connect in so yeah all in all good day so yeah we'll come back not tomorrow but Thursday um, and get this thing finished off fired up and flushed um, so yeah, all good in the hood. Right, we're back. So, back at this little number with the pipes running over the top. Look at this for parking. Yeah, love that. So, the plan for today is to basically get this thing sorted out. It's absolutely hammering it down with the rain. The difference, a couple of days mate, it's unreal. So, first things first, we're gonna, Finish up piping up in here, um, get the filter on, get the filling loop changed, and then I can get it filled and all tested. Um, then I can do the wiring, and once that's done, I can get the filter going, sorry, the flush going, um, and get the system all nicely flushed. And then we just got little finishing bits to do, POV, condensed to finish, Etc. Etc. It's classic, isn't it? The one day that I've got to spend some time outside, absolutely pissing it down. So, all fun and games. Let's get it going. Stay at that outside for one minute. Now. <laughs> Absolutely covered. Right, very quickly, we'll talk to you about new toy I picked up. So, this is Press Fit. I'm sure you must have seen it, you've probably used it. Um, this is a new one for me. I've never used it before. I've been eyeing it up for about a year, but the gear is quite expensive, so it's a bit of an investment. Fittings wise, as well, quite a lot more than end feed. Um, but to me, the perks of it outweigh all that, really. Um, now I use this, this is Gebrit stuff. Um, this is water, you do a gas one as well. You can tell the gas one by the O-rings inside of yellow, and it's got a little stamp, yellow stamp on the actual fitting itself that says gas. I've used press fit all, from all that pipe work, and it's my first big job using it, I'm loving it. Um, so what I thought I'd do is very quickly just run you through how we do it, 
um, and just why I love it because it's quick, it's very very quick, um, but also it's um, there's no flame, there's no flux. So if you were doing a whole brand new install, theoretically, you wouldn't you wouldn't even need to to do an install flush because there's no chemicals in it. But obviously we're not doing that here, so we're going to flush anyway. So these ones, the one of the main reason I like these fittings is these caps um, because what they do is they stop you getting any crap in the fittings. So when they're knocking around in boxes in the van or I don't know, you've got the old fitting in the bottom of your tool bag, whatever it is, with these on it, it doesn't, you can't get any crap in it, which is brilliant. The other thing I love is that they've got, I don't know if you can see that, but do you see that little, yeah, see that? it's got a little plastic cover on it, which comes off when you press it, which twofold, A, it stops the jaws sticking to the fitting, um, and B, you know you've pressed it. Because once that, if you go around, you look at the end of the job and you see a fitting with that still on it, then you know that's not been properly pressed. So let me flip you around and I'll walk you through how we're gonna do this one. Right, I'm gonna try and do this one handed. So forgive me for the poor camera work. So this is our return pipe and this is the filter. So that is just literally gonna Join onto that with a simple elbow. Now, the first thing you do, you can get special gauges that will, um, that you put on your pipe and it tells you how deep it is. But you can also, you can just tell when something's fully home. So once it's home, little mark on the pipe, just so that you know how far you have to go. And then likewise, with the other pipe that's going up, Pop her in, make sure she's home. It just means that when we come to press it, we can actually see, we actually know that it's properly all the way home. So, what I need to do is just paste up some nothing on it. Comment below if you do this differently. This is how I was taught to do it many years ago. Um, and it's never failed me. So I'm not saying I'm gonna change, but feel free to tell me if you do it differently. That's how I do it. So I know this fitting is all the way home. I'll pop it on here. Oh, this is gonna be the pig one-handed. Stay sick of it. So I've just taken the valve off. Okay. Do you know what? I might actually just give that a little, give that a little nip just to make sure that it doesn't fall out. Right, so we're gonna go into the fitting. So we're a little bit tight over it, but that's fine, we'll make it work. All right, and then what I'm looking for is that, oh, it's around the back now, I can see it there, you won't pick that up on the camera. And then we can, Pop this little one in. Okay. So that's that fitting. That's that in. I can tighten up that afterwards. So this is the kit I use. Uh, this is the Nova Press. Reason I went Nova Press, effectively people tend to go Nova Press or REMS. Reason I went Nova Press is because it runs off the Milwaukee batteries. Um, I got this kit, I got this on a bit of a steel actually, to be honest with you. I, I got this kit from a company called Williams & Co, um, who are in Slough, not that far from me. Um, and I got the whole kit, so two batteries, the press tool, charger, 
um, 15, 22 and 28 mil jaws, which is the majority of what I do. And I got the whole lot for about 1,066 plus the VAT, I think it was, something like that. So <laughs> there's so many different, um, so many different deals out there and different kits. It's quite hard sometimes to know whether you're getting a good deal or not. Um, but this is the one I've settled on. So, pin comes out. You see there it says 722. Jaw slides in. Pin goes home. So that's simple. So this one does spin like that. Um, and to be honest with you, I was worried when I first got it that I was going to have loads of stuff that I couldn't I couldn't press because I couldn't get on it. I've yet to come across a fitting that I couldn't. So, and then all we do, put it over the fitting like that. In that, so do you see, this is M profile fittings. You can't see because of the light, yeah, yeah. They see that little groove there? That just goes over the groove in the fitting like that. And then one handed. Actually let go. That's it. And that's that one pressed. And then remember what's about this? Look, now that comes off. And that's that pressed. So just got to do the other side. Tighten up that nut, and then that's the return in. Okay, so that's all in, all done. Looks quite neat actually, I'm quite pleased with that. So next thing to do is this little beastie. So this is just a standard filling loop. Um, the reason I'm changing it is because obviously there was a boiler here that had a pressure gauge on it. So it's quite simple to see as you're filling. Our boiler is now <laughs> all the way over there. So, you know, jumping between boiler and filling loop when you're trying to fill it to a specific pressure, especially when you're talking um, clients, that's a bit rough. So the solution, stuff everywhere the solution is this this one is made by all technique there you go there's the model number remote fitting loop so we have not the bag so you've still got a standard hose yeah same as that this valve is the same as that one up there so this one goes on your cold main so it's got a directional arrow there this has got a double check valve in it or a non-return valve I um, don't know if you'll pick it up, might be easier from this direction actually, there you go, you see in that? So it's literally just a sprung loaded piece of plastic with a rubber washer on it so that water can travel that way but nothing can go that way, yeah? So that's to adhere to water eggs. The difference is this piece here. So that's what that one looks like and that's what that looks like. So you can see it's basically identical. It's just got a little pressure gauge on it, which means that when you're filling up, you can see what you're filling up to. It saves you over pressurizing or under pressurizing. So yeah, neat little piece of kit to be honest with you. Um, it's got a directional arrow on it as well. I wonder if that's got a, no. So that goes in like that. And you've got your isolator here and then your pressure gauge on the heating side of it. Yep. Let's get it done. Always finding creative angles. Right. We've seen this before, but again, shout out Parks Plumbing, put me onto these. So it's just collapsible. I just got these off Amazon. They've got about two or three different sizes. Super helpful, because you can just stack it away in the van, but then it's to do and you need it. Ideal. So let's see if there's anything in it. Oh, yeah. Anything left in the heating? Just a dribble. So this is cold water side, this is heating side. Let's see if we can 
gets picked up. So these are the different flexes, you know, tap connectors or toilet fill up connectors. And basically they've got that little shaft inside with a rubber O-ring on it, which is why these don't need to be any more than finger tight. Because the seal isn't coming from the tightness of the nut. The seal is coming from that rubber O-ring sat inside the fitting. Okay, right, that system's now ready to fill. Look at this effing weather. Welcome to England. I was literally two days ago hanging out in my pants because it was so hot. And now look at this. Unreal. All filled up. No leaks. Everything is hunky dory. So we're all good there. It's a bit sus, but it's nothing to do with me. So, next job. Got to take oh, a lint for this five core. Ooh, focus. Lint this five core from that wiring center down through that hole. Whoop. And then literally, I'm going to go along, follow the path of the pipework down. And then what I'm going to do is probably below the boiler, here somewhere, I'm going to mount a fan switch because it's double pole so I can isolate both the permanent live and the switch live. Otherwise, I run the risk of another engineer coming in, turning the fuse spare off, thinking that all the power is dead. Yes, they should be checking, but not everybody does. And then get a whack off the switch live if it's, if it's on call. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, okay, so, cable's in, clipped around, I need to put another clip in that corner because it's not playing ball. Oh, stay at this place, I need to have it tidy up. Clipped up, da -da 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 -da, on top, da -da 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 -da, on top, and down, and then ready for me then to put my box on below. But, the time has come, this job, it's got an awful lot going for it. So, amazing client, pays on time, really flexible, living the dream. Not the best thing about this job. Parking, amazing, clear access. Not the best thing about this job. Empty house, so that I can leave stuff lying around if I want to, not an issue. I can jump in and out as I need to. Also not the best thing about this job. Best thing about this job, just around the corner is the Friendly Plumbing Catering Services. That is where we're heading now. Here she is. What's all that racket about? Fishes. Bloody hell. Friendly Plumbing Catering Services. Say hi. Hi. Hello, Mum. Hello, darling. <laughs> Come on then, show us the goods. How are we going? What goods? Who are you talking to? You're on YouTube, Ma. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't do that. No, you're on YouTube. You're YouTube famous. Look at this. What have we got? Do you want... Do you want onion in yours or not? It's, it's a big spring onions. Yeah, probably. Right. Look at this little setup. Living the dream. Oh, hello. <laughs> 